Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss proof of this theorem. Its converse part we have already covered in previous video. So let us try to understand the meaning of this statement and then we will discuss its proof. So what have they given here? They are saying the sequence xk1 converges to, this is the sequence, converges to p1, xk2 converges to p2. So all these are sequences of real numbers and they are converging to one real point. Okay. And so on xkn converges to pn. So there are total n number of sequences in R and these are convergent and converges to p1, p2 and so on pn respectively. What we have to do? We have to prove that the sequence which is formed using all these n sequences just like xk1, xk2 and so on xkn. So these are n components. So obviously this is a sequence in Rn. We have to prove that this sequence converges to p1, p2 and so on pn, right? So they have called it as simply xk and they have called it as simply p. So we have to prove that xk converges to p in Rnd where d is Euclidean distance. Its converse part we have already seen in previous video. So let us discuss how to prove this theorem, okay? So I have written the given information here, okay? What is given information? That xk i converges to p i for all i running from 1 to n. That means xk1 converges to p1, xk2 converges to p2 and so on xkn converges to p n, okay? So we are familiar with the definition of convergent sequence and epsilon plays a very important role in that. So let us take one epsilon first. Let epsilon greater than zero be given. So uh, using this definition, uh, converge information, I can write there exist n belongs to set of natural number such that See, actually I should write ni, that means for xk1, we will get n1, for xk2, for second sequence, we will get n2, for third sequence, we will get n3 and so on, such that mod. So actually, this is convergent in R with usual distance, so that's why I should write mod here, xki minus pi less than epsilon for all uh, for all k greater than or equal to ni. Okay, I should mention here uh, 1 less than or equal to i less than or equal to n. So here by definition I could write this one but see I need to do some adjustment here. I am going to write epsilon by root n. This is an adjustment, right? See the first statement that means if you take i is equal to 1 then this one will be true for n1. If I take i is equal to 2, then for that equation, that inequality, that n2 will, uh, will be true, getting. For the say, third inequality, we will have n3. For fourth inequality, we will have n4. That means we will have different, different natural numbers, n1, n2, n3, and so on, nn. But all inequality should be true for a single natural number. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a maximum. So let n is equal to maximum of n1, n2 and so on nn. That means all inequalities you are getting there are total n number of inequalities and all these inequalities will be true for this n. Okay, so let us try to prove now xk converges to p. That means we have to prove distance between xk and p should be less than epsilon. Let, let us start to do. So consider distance between xk and p. So this is equal to, this is a Euclidean distance, getting d is a Euclidean distance. So it is defined with the help of norm, norm xk minus p. But what is xk? It is xk1, xk2 and so on, xkn minus p means p1, p2 and so on, pn. So you know well how to subtract, component wise subtraction obviously, first component xk1 minus first component p1 and so on, nth component minus nth component pn. So we are familiar with the definition of norm, it is, which is equal to root 
स्क्वेयर ऑफ फर्स्ट कंपोनेंट एक्स के वन माइनस पी वन स्क्वेयर स्क्वेयर ऑफ सेकंड कंपोनेंट एंड सो ऑन स्क्वेयर ऑफ लास्ट कंपोनेंट एक्स के एन माइनस पी एन स्क्वेयर बट सी एक्स के वन माइनस पी वन इज लेस देन एप्सुल बाय रूट एन बाय दिस वन लेट मी राइट बाय स्टार बाय स्टार वॉट कैन वी से दिस इज लेस देन रूट दिस इज लेस देन एप्सुल बाय रूट एन but see there is a square so i should write square here plus and so on the second bracket will be also less than epsilon by root n third bracket is also less than epsilon by root n and the last bracket that is also less than epsilon by root n but see there is a square so i should write square there and it is true for all n greater than or equal to sorry all k greater than or equal to capital n now since n we have taken maximum of all n ids so that's why all inequalities will be true for this n let us simplify it further root square will be epsilon by n get it root n square that means n plus epsilon by epsilon square by n and the last one will be epsilon square by n so root so all terms are same epsilon square by n epsilon square by n and so on but see we are adding them n number of times so their summation will be n into epsilon square by n will you guess what will happen obviously that n and n will get cancel square and square root also will get cancel and simply we will have epsilon that means finally we proved d of x k p strictly less than epsilon and this is true for all k greater than or equal to n so let me conclude here so therefore therefore d of x k p that one strictly less than epsilon for all k greater than or equal to n so this is definition of convergent sequence so therefore sequence x k converges to p in r and d getting where d is a euclidean distance which we have used here okay so in this way we prove this part make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you see you